Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing with my lipstick decluttering series. This time I am doing my like nudes, neutrals, browns category. And as you can see, the bag does not close. So the goal today is to get rid of some stuff so this bag will close. There are actually a lot of lipsticks in here that I'm really iffy about. So this is going to be um, a little more of a try on situation. During the holiday season, I had the NYX advent calendar that was full of the lip lingeries, and there were a lot of colors that I was just like, I don't know about that. So there are a few of these in here. I know it's been a while since my last lipstick decluttering video, and really the collection has only grown so far, so let's get rid of some stuff. Right off the bat, I'm seeing Keepers. Uh, I've got this Anastasia Dusty Rose. This is kind of more of a pink, but again, like neutral. That's staying. This NYX Liquid Suede and Soft Spoken is actually one of my favorite all time nudes. I love this color, it's beautiful. It's staying. Kat Von D, staying. This is a new one I just got from Urban Decay. It is one of their Vice lipsticks, and it's in the color Conspiracy. And I really like this color because I can't figure out exactly what color it is, if that makes any sense. Um, it's got like brown, but kind of copper, but then like you put it on and it reads purple a little bit. I'll do a quick swatch for you guys. Like what, what is that? What is that color? It's beautiful. I love it, but I don't know what it is. I do have another lipstick from the Star Wars collection. You guys already know. I'm never getting rid of these. Um, I feel like we're, we're weeding out the ones I'm like certain of right now. This is good. I have a couple ColourPop lipsticks. I have Grunge, which is just like straight up brown. And I love this. This is one of my favorites. And then I have Wet, which is like a pearlized, kind of more of a top coat. Honestly, never used this before. Maybe it's time to try it on. All right, clean slate. Let's go. Doing this after wearing pink lip soak was probably the worst idea in the world because my lips are actually stained from the pink. So I'm not sure that this is um, as successful as it could be, but I actually really like this. And it reminds me a little bit of this Urban Decay conspiracy I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna have to use this more. I like this. We're getting rid of nothing. I just bought, this is the NYX Pin Up Pout in the color Rebel Soul. So far, I'm a huge fan of these lipsticks. Way, way better than the Velvet Mattes. Buy these instead, I'm telling you. Buy these instead. I have a Lime Crime Velveteen in the color Salem. This is another brown, and I don't think I've worn this one yet either. Oh my gosh. These are two of my favorite nudes. These are the Maybelline lipsticks, which I know everybody talks about on YouTube because they are worth talking about on YouTube. Uh, but I have Clay Crush and Nude Nuance. And these are both in the color sensational um, matte category. Very, very, very nice lipsticks. Next I have this Clinique in the color Beauty. This is a very pretty, um, I'm not wearing lipstick kind of lipstick, if that makes any sense. It's just like your lips, but better. It's got a little shine to it. It's very hydrating. I recommend. I do have a couple more lipsticks from NYX. This is one I wear a, pretty, a fairly decent amount. This one is called Lala. And then this one is called B52. I don't know that I've ever worn this, but I am a fan of the color, so I am gonna keep this one too. The whole front half of this video is me keeping things. I promise in a minute I'm going to purge because there are colors here. I'm like, no, no Jess. Next we have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Rome. And this uh, Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color. I actually really like these. I've like kind of destroyed this a little bit. That's this color right here. Um, I like these if you're just trying to do like a really simple, again, like kind of no makeup makeup look. They wear really nicely and uh, I like it. Here's where things get interesting. I have all these tiny NYX lip lingerie. Some I have never tried, some I have tried and haven't liked. Um, we're just gonna see, I'm sure I'm probably going to purge at least half of these. We're gonna see what they look like. Uh, what they feel like. I don't necessarily have the best feeling about this. First, we have the lip lingerie in the color Ruffle Trim. Using the camera as a mirror is not that easy. Okay, Ruffle Trim. Okay, I do actually like this color. The application was horrendous. There was like a big clump in the middle. But yeah, I like the color. I think I'm in, this is the winner. I do kind of already know that these like darker ones are going to be a better fit for me than some of these lighter nudes for sure. 
Okay, here's an interesting thing. You take it off and your mouth is like sticky. I don't know if you can see that. It's like my lips are pulling together when I... <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, the stick has gotten better. Uh, next, let's try the color Baby Doll. This is the world's worst application. I'm actually showing it to you guys because this is how this like comes on. It's like the patchiest, grabbiest thing ever. No, Baby Doll is out. Yes, we're finally getting rid of one. Again, this is really sticky too. I'm guessing this is just like a formula thing. Next we have the color Teddy. Reach the wizard. I actually do like this color quite a bit. Dang you lip lingerie. Next we have the color Corset. Reach the wizard. I feel like this color just super washes me out. It's like the same color as my foundation. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Bye Corset. Next we have the color Embellishment. This kind of has a little more of a purpley tint to it. Just based on the swatch, the color is really pretty, but just to get like this much, and you can still see my skin through this, I mean, I put layers on, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this one too. I really like the color, but I mean, I don't wanna have to work that hard. And just to give my lips another little break, this is the color Beauty Mark. I actually do like this one. Again, it's sticky. They're all sticky. But if you can look past that, the color is really pretty. Now we have the color Bedtime Flirt. Eh, I'm not crazy about this color. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. So far, we're getting rid of four of the lip lingeries. Progress, people, progress. Next, we have the color Lace Detail. I can already tell I'm going to hate this. Here's the swatch. I just don't want a lipstick that is gonna make me look like I'm covered in like... Do you see this? What the heck? Anyway, um, I feel like the when the nudes are like too skin toned, um, it just looks like I put either foundation over my lips or like I drink a milkshake or something. So it's just not, it's not for me. They look great on other people, but it's just not my cup of tea. Okay, next we have the color Push Up. I'm on the fence about this one. This could go either way. You know, I think I like this one. I think this one's going to stay. I just compared it to like the other nudes I've got around me. That came out wrong. The other nude lipsticks I have around me and I don't have a color like this similar. So this is like just dark enough that I'm gonna keep it. However, this does not want to leave my body. Good Lord. It's taking the makeup wipe with it. Okay, I take it back. I don't want this one anymore. That won't come off, like, at all. Okay, last lip lingerie, if I could get it on my face, is called Honeymoon. I'm not even gonna finish applying this actually. I don't, I just, I don't like the way these feel on my lips, guys. Ooh. Why did it take me so long to try all these on? Ooh. Um, also, I would recommend, uh, because the color is cool, it's like that kind of brown gray color. I do have one in my collection. I didn't show it today. I think it's in my purse though because I've been using it. It's by Maybelline. It's called Gone Grage. It's fabulous. Just get that instead. Okay, so the lip lingerie portion of this video is over. Thank you, Jesus. I just have one more to try on. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in the color Sandstorm. I think this is one of the first like NYX products I ever bought actually was this one. So let's see if I still like it as much as I did who knows how long ago. Yeah, I still dig this one. This is the keeper. Okay, now that my lips are on fire, I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, seven of these little lip lingeries. I'm only keeping three because I like the colors and honestly, if I find dupes for the colors, I will just get rid of those too because good glory, they are sticky and they just don't want to come off of your mouth. Is anybody else having this problem with the lip lingerie? I haven't heard much about that. So, so let me know in the comments if you've had the same experience with these suckers. Now we have the real moment of truth. Will the bag close when everything's in it? Uh. Da, 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 da. Success! 
least. I think I might still have one more category to go through. Um, I have them like separated by color. I don't think I've gone through like the pinks yet. So um, I will do that in an upcoming video. Uh, do me a favor, if you like these kinds of videos, hit the like button just so I know and I can make more like makeup related things for you guys. Um, leave me a comment if you have any opinions about the things I've talked about. I know I just kind of like blew through, but I have a lot to go through. And I knew the trying on was going to take some time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.